Citrofortunella microcarpa. That is the scientific name for the calamansi, a citrus fruit belonging to the Rutaceae family, which includes such members as the shaddock, the bergamot, and the grapefruit. What's up everybody, I'm Andre, and this is Edible Knowledge, giving you the what's what of food from around the world. This small, greenish-orange lime, often an inch in diameter and weighing about 25 to 30 grams, is believed to be a hybrid between the kumquat and the mandarin orange. Native to the Philippines and parts of Indonesia and China, the fruit itself is orange and usually consists of seven to nine segments and a bunch of cream-colored seeds. And just like the ube, the Philippines is probably one of the more famously known countries to utilize the calamansi, and its combination of sour, tart, and sweet flavor which adds an acidic brightness to any dish. For example, you can have calamansi squeezed on various traditional noodle dishes, as a meat marinade, a drink, and as a dessert. Did you know the calamansi tree can grow up to 25 feet tall? They can thrive in both cool and warm climates, and can even be cultivated to grow alongside other houseplants. Other names of the calamansi? The Panama orange, golden lime, calamansi, with a K, and the Philippine lime. Botanist and plant explorer Dr. David Fairchild introduced the calamansi into Florida from Panama in 1899, and it quickly became popular there and in Texas. Some people say that the calamansi and the calamondin are actually the same thing. However, others don't believe that to be true. Apparently, Calamondins are actually smaller and flatter and turn orange when they're ripe, whereas calamansies are rounder and turn green when ripe. Is that true? Let me know down in the comments. And let's solve this mystery. In just one fruit, 25 grams, you will find 12 calories, 0 grams of fat, 0 0.2 grams of protein, 0 0.4 grams of fiber, and 3 grams of carbs. Naturally, there's more. Calamansies also contain vitamin A and vitamin C, calcium, riboflavin, niacin, potassium, phosphorus, and iron. They can help boost immune systems, balance cholesterol levels, and may help in soothing your throat and respiratory pain. Author Farah Sheikh wrote in a 2019 article for the website Food for Better Health, when taken regularly, calamansi juice keeps the kidney healthy. It reduces foul urine odor and lightens its color. Regular intake of the juice also purifies the organs and detoxifies the colon. It improves bowel movement and relieves constipation. Well, that sounds amazing. Any side effects? Well, like with anything, if you eat too much, yes. If you have a sensitive gut, be sure to moderate your intake of the juice to avoid acid reflux, cramping, or diarrhea. And because of the high levels of vitamin C in calamansi, though it may help in detoxifying the body, for people with kidney issues, this type of diuretic could lead to numerous complications. So as usual, check with your doctor. And we're done. Woo, I'm all calamansied out. What food item would you like me to research next? Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.